Okay, you want to learn something really cool? Let's do the double stops of Brown Eyed Girl in many different positions. Okay, so the song is in G. 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 Okay, all those G positions you have, you're going to grab two notes out of each one. I'm going to show you how to play them in different ways. So let's do the first one. Let's start with the probably the easiest one. You take your G string, middle finger on the fourth fret, E string, pointer finger, index finger on the third fret. And you go like this. You got you pick up these two notes here. Right? So you do the G here, and then on the 5th fret of the G string, and the 5th fret of the E string, slide up 2. That's your G. Now, it's going to go to C, so you just slide up to a C chord. Do the same thing. Back to the G. D would be here. Right there. So let's do all those. Okay, there's one way to do it right there. Now you take another G chord. Let's just take the uh, this position G. And you're going to pick up your G note on your G string right here on uh, right here and you're gonna go open G and open B and you go so you got that open G open B then uh, move up two frets on your G string to Hit an A note there and a C note on your B string. So then slide up. Got that? Then you'll play a C chord here. These two notes. You grab these like this. Okay, let's take it from here. Then D chord. Got that? Same position. So the chords in the song are G. when you're playing your double stops. I've heard them called diodes before. Dyads, diodes, I'm not sure. I call them double stops because it's two notes. So every way you play a G chord here, you could do it like this. You could do it with an open G. So let's move up to the neck and find a G chord up here in the D position. So here's your D, here's your G here. You pick up the last two notes of that G chord and go. Got that? I think that's the one on the record. So you go. Here's your G here. Here's your C here. When you play the C, you pick up these two notes of the C chord. And your D would be here. 
and you pick up these two notes. So let's do it in this position. Okay, that's another way to do it. I prefer doing that starting here. Here's a G chord. And just pick up these two notes here. The same as down here, an octave down. So here you go. Then you can catch your C without reaching too far, so. Instead of here, you got to slide here. So I think if you economically easier to reach your second chord if you start here. There you go. There's three ways to do it. Let's do all three, starting from here. to do it. And there's even more. So if you take your first G chord I showed you, then you could go, here's your G, here's the C chord, and you pick up these two notes. Out of your C chord, you pick up your, that's your E note on your D string, and your C note on your B string. So you're going, so here you go, here's the first one. D chord right here. If you're playing a D here and add this note, your banjo D chord, like John Lennon plays this, and you pick up that note, so you could go. this G position here, you could do it here. could also do it there. Here's a G chord here. You pick up these two notes here. So on your five chord, which is the D, you can land here. Watch this. Instead of hitting the D here, Van Morrison does it. Try that again. Or if you do it in this position, I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but take your time, play the video over and over again, and you'll get it. I promise. So here we go. Got that? You're catching these two notes here. G string fifth fret. E string fifth fret and slide up. 
Okay. So let's play it nice and slow. One, two, three. All the different ways. We're going to do them all the different ways. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless. And this will be a good way for you to know your way around the neck, which will help you in future songs. So remember, you play a G here, you pick up these two notes. You play a G here, you pick up these two notes. You play a G here, you pick up these. Play a G here, pick up these. You can even do it here if you want to get really creative. Play a G chord, and you pick up your B note on your A string with the open G. Got that? That's cool. Again, uh. That's it. There you go. Try that. Just experiment around. So here's a G chord here. You go. Here's a C chord here. Here's another version. You could go. cool. I've never heard anybody do that. I've never done it until just now. So here we go. Try that again. I think my camera's moving a little bit. Come on, baby. Stand still. Hold on. I want to make you be able to see every move. So right here. Okay, a lot of work for your brain. There you go, brown eyed girl. And just for fun, let's just sing a verse and um, see what happens here. So we're just going G. Yeah, where do we go? Okay, and then uh, the bridge, D. Do you remember when we used to sing sha la 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 Just get funky on your rhythm.
Double stops. You could use them in a lot of songs, a lot of country songs. Eagles use them a lot, like in Tequila Sunrise, you know. See all those cool songs you could use them in? Okay, like and subscribe. Here's my nice little Telecaster. Picked this up recently. I think it's a 2014. Might be called a Telecaster Select. F hole. Super lightweight. Flame maple. Top. Look at that back. Ooh, nice. And then you got this fretboard with a little curly maple in there. All gold hardware. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep those lessons going for you. Up close and personal. Just watch my fingers and learn. See you next time.